Hello, welcome back to my channel. I just got done filming my ice cream beauty box unboxing. So we're gonna keep going and I'm going to do the Ipsy. There is like duochrome eyeshadow all over my table now, so that's fun. But yeah, if you wanna see what I got in this month's BoxyCharm, Ipsy, whatever it is, then just keep on watching. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you take a moment, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, I appreciate you being here as always. I think this box is $27. The nice thing with the ice cream box is that it is 25. I'm afraid to like, I don't know if you can see, my hands are like shimmery from repressing that and it like, it's kind of emollient so it's sticky. I'm afraid to touch my face, but anyways. The ice cream box is 25, which is what BoxyCharm used to be years ago. So that's kind of nice. And it's, so far it's only been makeup and it's like fun indie makeup. So I've been liking that a little bit more. I do need to pull something out of my giant basket over here before we get started because there is something that I want to compare in the box. I'm going to get ready. Okay. So the way this works now is you get to you get two things automatically they pick for you and then you get to pick the other three items and then when it's I think you get to pick three anyway with the Lux like if you do the upgrade three or four because you get more items in that box you get to pick a fair amount in that box too so let me pull out, let's see, I'm trying to think what they, this is an add-on, I picked that, what is this, I'm going to show you what they picked, yes, okay, so the first thing that they picked for me was from LMS, which I do like LMS, it's a pro collagen advanced eye treatment, um, I don't necessarily need an eye serum, mask, whatever. I do like this brand. So this will go in my skincare. I'll just show you the packaging. I'm not gonna open it, but. Lightly put two drops. So this is more of a serum than an eye cream. Lightly put two drops around the eye area morning and evening. So this is supposed to leave the delicate skin around the eyes looking smooth and hydrated, which I do need. So because it's a serum, I may be inclined to open that because it's not an actual cream. This is something that should probably go in my bathroom, maybe. I'll figure out. I keep skincare in my bathroom and at my desk where I do my makeup, so I'll figure out somewhere to put this. Okay, the other thing that they picked for me is from Gold Fadden, and I have tried some stuff from this brand, and this brand is one of those. It's expensive but this is a brand where I could take it or leave it this is the pure start gentle detoxifying facial cleanser which sounds fine I will use this eventually I have some cleansers open so I'm not going to open this right now but this is one of those brands where I've seen people absolutely love them I had a brightening serum and it just didn't seem like it was doing anything I used it up but it wasn't necessarily giving me a bunch of moisture and didn't make me any more glowy than when I used a regular serum. So I, like I said, I could take or leave this brand, but I'm, I will get use out of this eventually. And there's like, again, there's sh shadow from repressing that dual chrome shade. Yeah, that I'm gonna have glitter all over forever. Okay, I'll show you the three things that I picked and then the thing that I, added on. So the first thing is from Lucky Chicken. I don't know what the prices of any of these things are. There's no card in here, I don't think. It is on, oh, there's a card in here. I don't know if it has the prices. It is on the website. Yeah, there's no information in here. If I remember, I will put the prices down below, but this is a lip liner duo, and I've been using lip liners more, so this is Lucky Passion and Lucky Dreams. These look like more nudie shades but I have been wearing lip liners more and these are retractable which I like I hate the like the ones from Colourpop where you have to sharpen them but they're not like the wooden ones that sharpen nicely they're like the weird plastic ones that never look right after you sharpen them 
So one's a pinky nude and one's a little bit more like a rosy and one's a little more browny nude. So those are nice. I like both those. They feel creamy. And like I said, they're retractable. The only thing I wish is that there was some sort of color identifier on the outside, but that's, I can get over that. That's fine. And then we have from Bobbi Brown, this is a long wear cream shadow stick. None of the stuff that I had for choices was like overly exciting. Another option was the mini soft glam palette again, which I already own the full size. This is just a, like I could use this in the inner corner. This looks like the It Cosmetic one that I have, but I do like, I've been liking these kinds of things more for like all over the lid, like one shadow look. So I did pick this. I don't know what the shade is. Truffle. So I will put that with my other shadow sticks. The thing that I'm most excited about is from Fenty and this is a match stick in the shade Suede. My favorite contour, one of my favorite contours, my cream contours, is in 01 Amber. They do sell this one in a stick form, but when I bought this like two years ago, this is when this at first like dropped. And the amber shade, like you could not get a hold of it. And when I bought this at the Sephora in Montana, this was the last one in the pan version. They were out of the stick. They didn't know when they were gonna get back. I did have to like there was like a film on the top of this because I hadn't used it in a while. I cleaned that off and it still works good. It's still really creamy and pigmented. So I'm excited to have a different shade in a stick. I brought this down just so I could show you that. And I can swatch it, but this looks a little warmer. So this is more of a, like an actual bronzer. Whereas that is definitely a contour, but I'm happy to have both so there it is right there and I like this color so I was excited when this was an option because like I said I have this other one and it is 100% a contour there this is very cool toned a little bit goes a long way like I said I've had it for two years so you can see the difference so definitely a bronzer stick and the contour. So I'm super excited again to have a version because I've been doing more with cream, like actual cream bronzers. I haven't been gravitating towards this as much. So I like that I have a warm option from the brand that's actually in a stick just because this is easier to apply. So not an exciting box. The, mo the thing I was most excited about was the match stick. This I could take it or leave it because I have a shade very similar from It Cosmetics, but out of the three things from this group, this was the only thing that I really thought I would get use out of. And then the lip liners, I'm relatively excited about because I have been using lip liners. And then these are fine. So my ice cream box was definitely more exciting. So definitely go watch that video. It'll be up before this one because this one was just, like, I will use all of this stuff, but I would say this is not an exciting box by any means. But yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Let me know if you were still getting this. I have seen a bunch of videos where people are canceling their boxy charms now that the merger has fully happened, because people are just not happy. I like that you get to pick the items, but it definitely feels 100% like Ipsy, like boxy charm is no more. Ipsy has completely taken over. Obviously we're in an Ipsy box. I had Ipsy for a long, long time before um, with BoxyCharm. I had Ipsy first and then got BoxyCharm. I had them both, got rid of Ipsy. So I've had a lot of experience with both and definitely like BoxyCharm is, is gone, which is sad, but it is what it is. Let me know what you thought of this box. Hopefully you guys are doing well. I am gonna film a haul video after this, so I will give a little bit more of an update in that video as far as why there was a break in filming. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, and hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everybody.